What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, guys. The day everybody's been waiting for happens today. <laughs> So after, man, it's been, what, nine months almost? Mm, yeah, because I didn't have a baby. <laughs> right? Well, we, yeah, you made a baby here, though. Guys, uh, this car came to us. Basically, it was a stock 93 GT convertible. Um, Lee, the owner, had just, all he did is pull the engine and transmission out and sent it to us. And um, the, the entire documentary of this build is here on the channel if you want to go back and see where this car actually came from to where it is right now. Um, real quick, if you're new to the channel, this is a Gen 2 2017 Coyote engine. Um, Gen 3 Whipple supercharger, T56 Magnum transmission, McLeod clutch, uh, built 8.8 .8 rear end, full maximum motorsport suspension, Cobra brakes, 13 inch front and rear. Uh, three, yeah, three, 340 uh, fuel system pump deals. Sorry, losing it. Uh, air conditioning, power steering, thump and stereo system, two step, wide band, uh, Dakota digital gauges. Like, guys, it, full three inch exhaust, Cook's headers, Cook's X pipe, uh, three inch Mac cat back. <sighs> yeah. So, the, the, what we're doing today, the big deal is for the first time, we have started the car, but it's never actually moved under its own power. Today we're gonna take it for a ride. All right guys, so we were going to jump it off and unfortunately the battery is dead, but if you guys remember the video I did a while back, I had this little uh, air pump that I got sent uh, by the guys at Adu. Well, they sent us this, and supposedly this thing is powerful enough to start a car. I don't know, what do you think? We'll find out, huh? It's actually pretty cool, that's that's the box. And it comes it comes with this carrying case and then it's got all these little plugs. Like basically you can charge your phone, you can charge anything, whatever you got. And then it's got like a flashlight on it and USB and all that good stuff. So whether or not this thing will start a car, have we even charged it? I don't think we charged it. I'm trying to see what happens. It says it's, yeah, it's got a little gauge there. It says it's got a 74. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Guys, you need to get one of these. You can see in my hand how big this thing is. That's pretty awesome. Here we go. Whew, that blower sounds good. Not a hundred percent back together, but see the wide band there. That's pretty awesome. It ain't no good. Oh, is it, it not? It ain't reading right. Oh, okay. It is lit up though. Yeah, you got the sense cool. reading. Obviously, guys, we're not going to do any long John Force burnouts or anything. Main thing is, we're going to listen for any noises, feel the brakes, suspension, if anything's beating, banging, clanging. So far, so good. Yeah. I know it showed good. Stand by. 
side, yeah. It's a, it's a fiberglass one, you know, I can yeah. bounce a little bit. So. Double check that. Sounds really good. So it's something going on back here. Yeah, I was gonna put a jack in it. Possibly brake related, but yeah, obviously nothing major. It did rub just a hair, but I mean these tires are massive. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on there. I think it may be touching the bracket just here. The rotor. All right, guys, I think we found the, the lone issue out of everything, that, basically everything on this car is brand freaking new. The lone issue feels like we might have a bracket rubbing. Maybe. As you can see, these are the, these are 13 inch rotors on the back. Good possibility that's going to be it. So there you have it. And I know, I, I know you were hoping to see long, smoky, like burnouts and all that. We try to keep it real world here. That's 
you know the the first drive especially because like i said earlier there's nothing on this car other than like the seats and like the body panels that haven't been changed everything suspension engine train everything on this car brake lines ac system everything is new on this car so obviously you don't want to just go out and start you know ripping burnouts in an 800 horsepower car that weighs about 300 3000 pounds um what we do need to do is we need to uh we're going to do some adjusting on the back brakes we're going to bleed the brakes uh we got one more wide band thing to install and then uh we got to put power to the third pump that is activated uh under boost pressure um because it does it's got three pumps inside the the tank it's a on three fuel system in the car so uh basically guys it's done it's a couple of hours and all the little stuff could be could be knocked out and uh lee is going to have mass mass amounts of fun because you know i mean who, who's really worried about a convertible you know they have <laughs> yeah i mean who, who's really going to be like oh yeah i'm not racing that car i mean it's it's got nice wheels and it's shiny but you know it's not not like this is some sort of street beast that you're gonna be like you know scaring away cars with but uh they'll just need one taste and that'll be it all right y'all so there you go uh, we will have more driving we will drive the car more we'll, we'll try and get in some boost and and all that if if at all possible i mean I, it's got drag radials on it i don't think they're going to help even a little bit um so there you go i hope you got uh hope you guys enjoyed watching the entire transformation dover totally knocked it out of the park with this car it's like, it looks factory under the hood it's amazing the underside is as clean as the top side this is going to be a ridiculously fun car. And Lee, I hope you enjoy it, buddy. Been fun documenting the whole build. So, um, yes, it will be back. This is not the last video of the car, but, um, you know, it's kind of at that point where we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's, it's going to be leaving us soon, but it'll be all right. So, in the meantime, if you like 800 horsepower Fox bodies, please give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. We'll be back because we've got lots more, lots more, lots more.